What's going on, ladies and gents? How are you people doing here? Welcome back to another football recap video. So here's my recap this time of the England and the Hungary game. And what can I say about tonight's England game? I mean, seriously, first of all, man, England, I think they're going to get even better after their, you know, their almost successful Euro 2020 campaign. Because tonight, man, England, they just absolutely killed it once again on the football pitch. And the thing about this England team is that, you know, the question about this England team is that do you people think that this England team is going to be better than the 2002 England team or no? Because if you compare the talent that England have, the talent is almost similar to, you know, England's 2002 squad because, you know, last time I think that England had a really good squad prior to this current squad would probably have to be 2002 because I just remember how back in 2002 England have a complete team and once again, right now, it seems like that England finally have a complete team for the first time since 02. Given how after 2002, it seems like that England's football talent has kind of, you know, just in terms of producing results, not been like as competitive as their 2002 World Cup squad, you know, especially their dreadful 2010 and 2014 World Cup squads. And it seems like that this England team nowadays is just going to produce something even even special, especially given their experience and just how dangerous England have become in football. But of course, you know, in this game, you also had that idiots, you know, in the uh, in the audience that participated in those just absolute vicious and just those racist and dreadful chants against Sterling. And it's like to all those people that participated in just those terrible and just those vicious racist chants against Sterling, I think that those football fans need to be permanently banned from going to football games because obviously, you know, just the booing in this game and just those uh, just those terrible chants were just absolutely unacceptable. Like seriously, that stuff needs to end, and I can imagine that UEFA now is probably going to, you know, make Hungary play, you know, I think one or two games behind closed doors just because a group of freaking idiots decided to ruin the game with just their terrible racist chants. It's just pathetic how some football fans can be so vicious. Like, what have those England players done to you? Seriously, it's so dumb. It's just so dumb that you have that group of idiots that participated in just those terrible chants. But going back to this game, I think that Harry Kane, he could have scored a hat-trick with just the way how he played against, you know, Hungary. I think that Harry Kane could have scored a hat-trick because he missed a couple of lot of chances. And I mean, you got to be impressed with this England football team, especially with guys like Sterling, who had a really great game. You know, Sterling, man, guy that I have tons of respect for, had another fantastic game for England. So it just goes to show that Sterling has really developed as a football player in these last couple of years, and he's just developed into a very lethal winger. And I think Sterling is right now a top five winger. So tonight, man, just a great performance by England, you know, especially tactically England it seemed like that finally tactically England know how to play tactically and just hit their opponents on the counter very very efficiently almost as good as Germany's counter attack I feel like from like 2014 and the 2010 World Cup because that's how it feels like watching these England games just England playing as good as you know Germany did in 2010 and 2014 at the World Cup so anyways guys that's the video here let me know what did you think about the England game in the comment section below 